Hello everybody. Hi, this is Mimi. Um, this is going to be real short. I just want to tell you, um, give you a little bit of revelation about um, when you read the Bible, um, ways to, to know ways to talk about, you know, the evil. Um, for example, you know, everything is, well, everything is either good or bad. It's good and evil. Well, we mostly know the good. Okay, but it's important to identify the evil, especially in these last days. Um, in the Bible, when we read and we see, um, we, we hear things like dukes, um, like Esau had, Esau on Esau's side, you know, there was the dukes. And, and you wonder, well, who were the dukes? You know, were they good or were they bad? You know? But I'm here to tell you the dupes were not good. Okay? They were not good. So, um, so when you read the Bible, just make sure that um, that you, when you read it, that you know if, it, if the, 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 the group of people they're talk, it's talking about is either it's the good or bad. Okay? I'm meaning, I'm meaning like devils or souls. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, um, like another example, like maybe you did not know, are the Pharisees. You know, oh, when I remember in um, Matthew 23, when you know Yeshua, Jesus was telling, telling them, you, you hypocrites, you brutal vipers, you know, and woe to you. You know, he was he was talking real strong to them. I used to, you know, we used to think. Like, wow, like, he's really mad at them, you know. But let's go, let's go to that and let's see what, what he's really saying to them, okay. But woe unto you, I'm, I'm at Matthew 23, 13, okay. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. What is he saying to them? That you don't want men to be you don't want men to go to heaven. But ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. I mean he's stealing from the widows, tricking the widows. I mean not he, but the Pharisees. Okay, the scribes and the Pharisees. They are the hypocrites Yeshua is talking about. They are the devils. Okay, let's see what else he's talking about. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye come past sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, he make ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. So now you find pretty much saying you find a Christian the one that believes in me or believe in the kingdom, you make them twice as you, as yourself. Which means what? Their agenda is to go after Christians, after after believers. Okay, let's read 16. 23, 16. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether it's greater the gold or the temp, the temple that sanctified the gold. See, they're about money, the money grabbers. They're they're um they're Esau. <laughs> Remember Esau sold his birthright for it. something to eat? Well, this it's all about they're not they're not trying to have a relationship with Yeshua. They religious. You know, they're about their own doctrine. Okay. Whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever swear by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether it's greater the gift or the altar that sanctified the go the gift. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, swear by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, swear by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. 
He that shall swear by heaven, swear by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of men and anise and come human, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. That mean they ain't, they don't they ain't trying to keep the law. They ain't trying to keep the commandments of God. They're not trying to judge fairly. They're not trying to treat others like they they do themselves. They, they don't care about mercy. And they their sure don't have faith in Yeshua. Because you guess who's with them? Yeshua. Okay. These ought ye do these ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Be saying, yes, you pay tithes of cumin and all that stuff, but what about the other stuff? What about keeping the law? What about judging fairly? You know, judgment and mercy and faith. Yes. Scribes and Pharisees. Are you a scribe? Are you a Pharisee? I hope not. But how do you recognize scribes and Pharisees? Many church leaders are scribes and Pharisees. But how do you know? How can you tell? Because their doctrines will not, will not be of the law. The doctrine will not be of judgment. The doctrine will be of something of more like um, condemnation. More, um... You remember, they, they, they was always on Yeshua about washing the hands and um, uh, fasting and all this other stuff. Yes, I'm not saying that, I mean, this, this not important. It is, but not to make a law out of it. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the, the better thing is to love one another. I mean, Yeshua gave, it, gave the two commandments what He wanted us to do. And then this, you love God with all our heart, all our mind, all, you know. Everything, we're supposed to love the God and put Him first. But then the other one is what? To love one another. As we love ourselves, so love God, love others, and if we love God, we will keep His commandments. Because you sure said that. He said, "If you love me, you will obey my, obey, obey my commandments, obey the commandments." So we, if they're not teaching you to obey commandments, if they're not teaching you to judge fairly, they're not teaching you about faith in God, have faith in God, then you know they're probably a Pharisee, a Sadducee, a scribe. Yeah. So, like the dudes, they're dudes, and Chaldeans, they're another, um, when you read the Bible, look for those, look for Duke, Chaldeans, the Pharisees, and scribes, there are none but devils, they're all devils, okay? And Baal, Asherah, there's others okay so I really want you to get that so so in the Bible I heard a lot of people say if God is such a loving God how can he have women and children killed in the Bible how can he well when you really read it think about it are those children those people good or are they evil if, if God told them to have them killed they were evil you mean, you know, in Ephesians 6, 12, it says that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers of darkness, you know. I'm paraphrasing, okay? But but thing is, though, we do not fight one another. We love one another. We love one another. See, all Israel is in Israel. A lot of Israel are fallen angels. There are evil spirits in, in skin. And so, all would not be saved. So, like your leaders going out there, you who are called to this, this, the time such as this, to go out there and preach the gospel. If you don't can't reach them all, don't worry about it because all cannot be saved. Because some of them are not real people. Okay? Some are scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Some are um, brutal vipers. Some are vipers and skin. <laughs> Yeah. So really wanted it's really wanted to, to tell you to tell you this. So look for those so when you read the Bible, read it. And when you come across dukes and again the Baal, Asherah, um the scribes and the Pharisees, um 
you know, um, do, I want to say this because um, to maybe give you some understanding. The question would be, can can scribes and Pharisees be saved? Um, and I want to share this with you. Um, during, the, during, during the time of Noah, um, you know, Noah, um, before the before the, the, the deluge, Noah ministered to the people. Okay, um, he, but they weren't souls. Okay, I, I need to say that. I need to say this. Um, all all the ones, all the all the souls, all the all the Christians, or all the ones who believe in God, they weren't really Christians then, but all the ones who believe in God, they had died before the flood. They died before the flood. Okay, or they they was on the boat with uh, Noah, which is which was eight of them. They was all married couples now. But before that happened. Noah, I have to, I'm going to say Methuselah, Methuselah, they ministered to the people. Okay, just, just, just go back and just do your reading. But they ministered to the people. Um, they did not listen. They did not heed. You see, even God in His mercy, even tried to minister to the devils, <laughs> should I say, to try to get them to change their ways. Because this how how far his mercy go. He even tried to minister to them, so they can change their way. And this is going to happen in, 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 even in the end. I mean, history does repeat itself. It's going to happen even in the end, where he's going to give them a chance. But even it shows in Revelation that they would not repent. They would not repent. They would not repent. And it says it over and over and over. It's like they didn't. They did not repent in the times of Noah either. They're not going to repent in, in these last days. And um, so yes, but God mercy goes so far that He even tried to even get them to repent. But they won't repent. Yeah, so he, he will give it the chance for even the dead to repent. Ain't that something? For even the dead to repent. There's a lot of people don't see about God. A lot of people don't see how merciful and loving He is. And um. So 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 now, now that you know that we the children and, and people and uh, uh, you may call the innocent one died in the Bible, it is because they were not real folk. Okay? And even these last days, if you see after the rapture, with the like the when God take up the innocent ones, you know, those who are um persons with disabilities and those who are Oh, it's, well, I'm trying to think of the word. Low in spirit, should I say? Um, but anyway, God's going to take them out of here. Okay, a lot of the elderly, the, the babies, all the babies. But, well, when God take them out of here, remember, if you see any babies left behind, they are not real souls. They either be, they either been um, artificially inseminated are a surrogate children or a clone I mean they are, they won't be real okay so don't so don't be going by them don't don't be saying oh these how's your babies alive you know so so just remember definitely remember that okay Right, so so look, just look for those clues when you read me reading the word, and I pray that this this really helped you. Okay, I pray this really helped you. But anyway, God bless you. May His light shine upon you. May He give you His peace that surpasses all understanding. Stay in your word. If you're not saved, I mean, ask you sure how much Jesus Christ coming in your heart. It's the Holy Spirit to have our way with you. Um, to dwell in you, to teach you, to lead you in all truth. Pray in the spirit, even looking uh starts praying in the spirit. That's the Holy Spirit just open your mouth and just start praying. And after after you repent of all your sins, that's the Lord coming to you and coming to your life.
okay we take and after you do all this take communion daily and this will be your daily medicine you and this the healing power it's healing it's healing power in the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach Jesus Christ okay and when you, when you dispose if you don't drink all the communion you you dispose of it try to put it into something like a plant don't try not to pour down the drain okay because you have to look at this it's, it's, it's real blood try to drink every bit of it okay try to, to protect all of it if you, if you know you can't I mean don't get a lot if, don't get a lot and pray over it if, if you feel like you can't drink it all but just remember it's just a blood and the bread is, is his body you are using a cracker of bread okay it's his body all right yeah talk about let me say this I want one thing about nothing about those spirits those um, the, the spirits see they they will give you sickness they give you sickness okay if you if you have a headache if you have any kind of pain if you have your eye fluttering if you're itching it's an evil spirit if you have a cold it's an evil spirit people are like surely come and cold it's nothing common about a cold <laughs> it's nothing natural about a cold even a cold evil spirits they're messing with you and, and an evil, evil spirit can cause your sick cause you to get sick that's what they do. It, okay? Just get your right hand, your anointing hand, and you swipe wherever the, you're itching. Swipe that side with this hand to the to the devil to, to flee the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Okay? Your eye fluttering up and down like this. Just, you know, like like this. Just fluttering. Whatever side it's on, whatever side it's doing, whether, like it's doing on this side, the evil spirit is in this area. You know, this side evil spirit in this area, okay? You tell this spirit to flee the name of Yeshua Messiah Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is what it is. It's the evil spirit. I'm not telling what I think. I'm telling you what I know. Okay? If you are if you have baldness, I didn't mean to do all this, but you know it's it's, it's important. If you if you are going through baldness and you uh your head your head is shedding, first of all, you have to catch yourself. If you are you scratching a lot in your head. If you're scratching a lot. That's that's another thing. Cause see, the devil will crawl you in my nest, in my presence. I can feel it. Cause I'm tangible to those spirits, and you can't be too. But you have to be tuned in to turn off a lot of that TV stuff that you that you you watch, okay? Because they could distract you from from a lot of things, okay? A lot, a lot of stuff on TV, like all about sex and cussing, all that stuff. You don't need to be watching that kind of stuff, okay? But anyway, if, you, if, you, if, you, if your hair is, is coming out, first of all, watch yourself. Don't scratch. If it's itching, pat it. And you kill that devil with a flea. Okay? You pat that spot where it's itching. Do not scratch because you scratch this and then the hair will come off. And I've been through that before, too. I did this. I knew it was a spirit. So I, would, I could feel it like moving around my head. And, and Yeah, it's a lot of women. Uh, you see, a lot of women who get like, get like perms in their hair, and they 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 their heads get to itching real bad, and, and they feel like their hair gonna fall out. But and then they get to doing things in their head. But it's an evil spirit. It's an evil spirit, okay. But uh, I'm, I'm not encouraging you to get perms and stuff in your hair. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying it's an evil spirit, okay. Um, <clears throat> let me see what else. Um, yeah, if you're bleeding, if you're bleeding more than you should, women, you know what I'm saying? If you will, if you're bleeding more than you should, it's an evil spirit. Okay. Yes, it's an evil spirit. Yep, yep, yep. Evil spirits can cause so much. Of course, of course, it can cause you to have cancer and other things. So that's why, just why you bless your body. You get the get the uh, get the uh, get some olive oil and you um, pray over it and uh, and anoint yourself with oil. Bless your body. Say, I bless I bless myself. You just bless yourself. You know, bless your body. You know, say God bless me. You know, but bless yourself. But communion, communion is a healing. I'm telling you, communion every day. We keep the doctor away. <laughs> they say apple a day, communion a day. We keep the doctor away. 
Okay? For real. Communion every day you keep the doctor away. Seriously. Okay? You don't have to be the same prayer every day. Just just because evil spirits cause those things. That's right. They want you to go to hell. They want you sick. They want you dead. They don't they, they want you unrepented. They want you to continue in sin. They don't want you to have the promises of God. They don't want your prayers heard. Because God don't hear the prayers of the unrighteous. He hear the prayers of the righteous. So that's why it's important to repent. Repent on me. You just say, God, I'm sorry. You keep doing it over and over and over. Repent on me. You, you turn away from that sin. And then you, you start walking on the right path. Okay? Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. All right, before the king, he don't want to marry you. Then you want to keep keep on walking. Leave all that alone. You know, six and eight, it six feel good while you're doing it. But you know what though, it has severe consequences if you're not married. Very severe consequences if you're not married. Okay. Stop sleeping around. Men stick to your wife. Stop sleeping around. You know, and it's oh. Since I'm even on the subject, there are serious plagues coming for sexual immorality. Immorality, serious, serious plagues. And you know what? Once you get it, I won't say it's a black, black boil plague, but once you get it, I don't care how much repenting you do, you know what? You're still going to die with it. You're still going to die with it because, first of all, when you sleep around, you know what? You, you. You putting the Holy Spirit in a bad situation, and you you and you you really doing yourself damage because because you know when you when you when you come together. I said this on other videos. Just in case this is the only video you watch, just just heed to what I'm saying to you. When you are with the when you're with your spouse, you come together. The Holy Spirit will leave come out of you. Okay. The Holy Spirit will leave and respect you enough for you to become intimate with your spouse. If you, but if you are cheating on your spouse, the Holy Spirit can can the Holy Spirit can make a choice to not enter you again and allow an evil spirit to come into you instead and you thinking you will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Okay? Seriously. So so get right. Stop lying, people. Stop lying. Stop cheating. You know, it doesn't matter what people think of, think about you. You, you don't have to be look all, all so important. Stop your lying. Stop lying. Stop your cheating. You need on your taxes. Mm-hmm. Stop even claiming people that you don't supposed to be claiming on your taxes. You know what? So see, you don't think God look at the small stuff? He does. He does. He look at all that. So repent. Repent. Yes, repent. May God bless you. May His light shine upon you. Stay away from the devils. And stay away from the clones. Let me say this too. <laughs> I guess this will be real short, but I'm going to say this too though. There could be clones looking just like you. They have, they could. Let's see something. You go to the dentist, they have your DNA. You go to a doctor, they have your DNA. And you know what? They can make clones look just like you. So people be really, really watch very close to your family members. Anything that looks seem a little strange, um, um, they look lighter. They look a little darker. Um, they can look. They can look uh, the exact identical. I mean, even Obama is a double. And they look. He look identical to himself. So, so. But how will you know if your family members cloned? Well, the Bible said the name of Jesus the devil will flee. <laughs> Make sure you talk about Jesus and your, the name of Yeshua, and should just Christ in your in your household. Yeah, because. We live in a time of great deception. So I put that one out there too. Alright. Holler. <laughs>
Love you, and may God bless you. Shalom.